Greetings, library patrons. My name is Jeff. I am with the York County Library, your community link. And today we're going to take a quick introductory look at our website and how to navigate it and some resources and links on our website that you're more likely to find helpful while our physical locations are closed. First thing you want to do is open a web browser. It can be any web browser you choose. I prefer Chrome. We'll type in our website address, yclibrary.org. Hit the enter key. That opens our website. I want to encourage you to take a deep dive into our website. The top is a ribbon menu. Under each menu item, a submenu item, uh, submenu opens with tons of stuff on it. And each of these contains even more. So you'll want to go through and click on these there's so much here, it would take days to go through all of them. So take the opportunity to familiarize yourself with our website. There's so much here for to help you. Um, it's a great, great resource. Uh, we want to focus on some, some, a few of the uh, items that you're more likely to use in the coming days. One of those is the Contact Us link. In the top right hand corner, if you click on that, it brings up a form and you will just fill out this form with your name, your email, your library card number if you have that information. Now you don't even need a library card or account to use this form to ask us a question. But if your question or concern is about your account and you have access to your card number, then supplying that information just makes it easier for us to find it so we can get back to you quicker. And that's what we want to do. We want to get back to you as quickly as possible with a solution or an answer to your question. And you'll put the question or, or concern or whatever feedback you have down in this message box and click on submit. And I want to encourage you, if you think your question is too simple or too silly, even if your question is, what book should I read? That's a good question, and we're here to answer that question. So use this Contact Us link. It's monitored. This page is monitored daily, and we will get back to you as soon as possible um, and help you find the information that you're looking for. The other items that we're going to be using more often uh, one is the virtual library page under the browse menu. If you hover over the browse menu and click on virtual library, it brings up our virtual library page. On this page are all the resources uh, and services that provide ebooks, e audiobooks, um, digital streaming music, TV, movies, documentaries, comics. All of those things are available through these services. Each of these has their own help menu, frequently asked questions. Some of them even have video tutorials uh, or tutorials on different devices. Um, I encourage you to click on these and learn more about these. We will be offering individual videos on each of these services uh, that go more in depth on how to use them. But for now, you can't go wrong by clicking on these and learning more about each of them. These are great services uh, and they're here for you. Uh, another great resource is under research, uh, online learning. So we're going to click on that. You can see the first one is ABC Mouse. That's for kids. Um, notice it says in library use only. That's normally the case, but right now, while our physical locations are closed and you can't get to the library, um, this is avail available to you, all library patrons, at home. So it's a great resource. Um, Creative Bug, also, fantastic resource. It's for people who love crafting. Um, it's a great resource. We want to focus on these two, Digital Learn and GCFLearnFree.org. Org. Now, if you are, are someone who um, is uncomfortable using computers or you don't consider yourself particularly tech savvy, 
These are great resources. Digital Learn offers computer tutorials. You can see uh, what you're getting into here. They're fantastic. I encourage you to go there and practice. The more you use these tutorials and practice, the more comfortable you will be using a computer. I have often told patrons, using a computer is like riding a bike. It's not something that you can do, uh, pick up and become comfortable with in 20 or 30 minutes. It takes practice. And so these tutorials will help you with that and help you become more comfortable in your computer use. The other site is gcflearnfree.org. It's not immediately uh, as user friendly as the other site, but it does offer a ton of tutorials. You'll want to click on topics to show some basic tutorials that are available, but down at the bottom, you'll want to click on all topics. Each of these is a tutorial and it's not just on computer. As you can see, they have basic Spanish skills. Um, they have money skills, workplace skills. So it's mostly technology, but it's so much more. And they have tutorials in different languages. Another fantastic resource. So these are some of the resources that you're more likely to use while our physical locations are closed. We hope that you'll take advantage of them. I hope that this tutorial has helped you a little. And don't miss out on the tutorials coming uh, on, our re on more of our resources. Uh, stay safe, and um, we will see you soon.